Welcome again in ERP Next FEI tutorial part two. In this tutorial, I am going to explain more about ERP Next API get method. In the previous tutorial, I have shown you how to call ERP Next API through Python script. Today, I am going to show you how to extend these codes to retrieve multiple field values. Let's open the PyCharm again to retrieve multiple values. We have to declare a field list fields equal to name, email, last login. So we are going to retrieve these three fields, name, email, and last login. Now let's modify this line of code a little bit. At the end of dog underscore type, I am adding few more things. Now let's run the code. Let's see what happened. The result is this. It is retrieving email address and last login date and time also. It's a simple example how to retrieve data from multiple fields. Let's modify the code a little bit to retrieve data from enabled field. Enabled. And here I have changed this code a little bit to print out the output row by row here i am adding the enable field copy this part of code and paste it here need to add a comma here replace the name with status so status is enabled run this code now now you can see it is showing result row by row, some row with status one and another is status zero. One means enabled and zero means disabled. Now we are going to add some filter so that we can filter the result based on status. Let's do it. To apply parameter, I'm going to add some new codes and I'm replacing this line. Here I have declared another variable called filters and the field value is true and another variable query parameters in this query parameters I have combined both fields and filters here params equal to query parameters running the code now these three user names are showing in the result because user that has a status code one one means enabled are showing in this result let's see in the software in the software also you can see these two are disabled and these three are active that's mean enabled that is why it is showing only three line of result Let's retrieve the disabled user list. Just change here, make it false, and run the code. Now we can see it is only showing two line of result, and it is only showing those who has status equal to zero. That means these two users are disabled. Here is the quick recap what we have learned today. Today we have learned how to retry multiple field values and apply filters. That's all for today. See you in the next tutorial.